I hate online shopping. Keep watching. Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I am one of those people who does not like shopping online. I don't know if the rest of the world is with it and I'm just not, but I hate paying for product and having to wait to get it. I want to play with it right away. And I hate having to pay for shipping. And I hate having to buy everything all at once so I don't have to pay for shipping. So I wanted to talk about products that I can pick up locally, specifically brands that I can pick up locally without having to think about it that are cruelty free and I can just walk into a store, buy the product and walk back out. So today I wanted to go through some cruelty free brands that they carry at Sephora and talk about some of my favorites and some that I haven't tried but would like to try. I'm gonna go ahead and link the Logical Harmony list down below, um, which is where I got most of these. Some of these brands are brands that I consider cruelty free, but that she puts in the gray area. Um, she's got very high standards for what she considers cruelty free. So if a brand is on the Leaping Bunny list, for example, but has not emailed her back in a satisfactory way, she doesn't list it. So there are some brands that I consider cruelty free that she doesn't, so there's going to be a couple more that I talk about here than what she says, but if you want a printed off version or a version you can look up on your phone really quickly while you're at the store, it'll be down below. So there are a couple brands at Sephora that I that are cruelty free. Uh, the first one is Becca. I've never tried anything from them, but I would like to. Bite Beauty has some really awesome lip products. They're a little bit pricey, but I do really enjoy them. Bare Minerals is a cruelty-free brand. They actually make the foundation that I'm wearing today that I love, which is Bare Skin, but they are owned by a parent company that tests, so it depends on how you feel about that. Anastasia Be Beverly Hills. I have tried some of their products in store. I really like their brow tint, but have not gotten around to actually purchasing from them. Cover Effects. They make some really awesome face products. I haven't tried them either. Deborah Lipman does nail polish, beautiful glitters, it's a little bit pricey. I have tried one of her nail polishes though and I think it's worth it. I understand why. Hourglass. Hourglass is a very popular brand right now. Their ambient lighting powders are super popular. I want to try them but I have not yet. Josie Marin, I particularly love her coconut uh, cheek gelée. I've tried her lip stains and I really, really want her watercolor eyeshadows. I believe she's vegan too. So she is great. La Vanilla is a perfume company. NARS is a brand that I really, really like. I love their blushes, but they are owned by a parent company that tests, so it depends on how you feel about that. OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. They are famous for their lip tars. They also have some lip liners, some nail polishes, um, and I believe that they are all vegan as well, but I haven't tried anything from them. Rosebud Perfume Company, I haven't tried anything from them either. Tarte, Tarte used to be one of my favorite companies before it was bought by a parent company that tests. I am willing to buy from those companies, but I really prefer not to. So their Amazonian clay blushes are incredible. Their lights, camera, lashes, mascara is really, really good. Um, their eyeshadow primer is great. I love their lip glosses, but I haven't bought anything from them recently. Too Faced is my all-time favorite brand ever, 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 ever. I love it. I'm wearing Too Faced on my lids right now. This is their um, Bonjour Summer palette from the Pardon My French set that they had at Sephora last year. But I looked on their site recently, and it looks like they are re-releasing the Ala Mode and the Bonjour Summer palette. So. If you like this, you can pick it up. I don't know if they've reformulated anything or if it's going to be exactly the same, but I really, really like it. I like everything I've tried from Too Faced. And Urban Decay is another really great brand. Um, they are owned by a parent company that tests those, so it depends on your stance on that. But they make really great eyeshadows, eyeshadow primer. Um, their Naked Foundation is really good as well. Um, and then also Buxom, which is owned by Bare Minerals. So if you're okay with Bare Minerals, um, Buxom is a great brand as well. So those are some of the brands at Sephora that do not test on animals to the best of my knowledge. 
at the time of filming. Generally, when I walk into a Sephora, the first place I go is to the Too Faced setup because it is like my standby awesome brand. I'd love to hear from you guys. Are there any brands that I did not include that you guys know are cruelty free? Tell me in the comments because I'm always looking to try new things. If this is your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. And I plan on doing another one of these videos um, with Ulta as well as Target and Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, all of those. Let me know what store you'd like to hear about. Um, and I will talk to you all hopefully very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. I wanted to go through my top three best nail polishes and my top three worst nail polishes. I saw someone do this video recently. I can't remember who, but if I can figure it out, I will link them down below. But it got me thinking about the nail polishes that I love, that I don't have to think twice about, that are just amazing in specific shades. And then the nail polishes that just stress me out. So I wanted to talk about them today.